people say you have to have thick skin in this job, but it's, it, it is true in a way, but it's not at the same time because I'm, I'm pretty emotional. I, I don't take criticism that well, but I know that I have done my job well and I know that I can do it well and I know that I, along the way I can still make guests happy without ruining their vacations. Um, it's not, it's, it's so great. It's so much more than closing the line, I promise. Um, and you get to meet so many cool people along the way, whether it's people in line, like guests, children, adults, teenagers, other college program students that are coming to meet your character that day, or captains. I love hearing how captains became captains, where they started off, what their first thing was. I love learning about other attendants, what their journey was, who their favorite character to work with is. It's so cool. There's so many amazing people out there just waiting for you to hear their story or waiting for you to tell them their story or waiting for them waiting for you to tell your story. And it's just so, it's such a wonderful atmosphere and it's, it's different than everybody else. And if you have the chance to be an attendant, do it because I would in a heartbeat accept a full-time job as an attendant, even though I still have to go back to school because I'm a sophomore. Um, I would like, I would for sure come back to be an attendant. Like, even though I that was never in my cards for after graduation, I had never really thought about doing that as a full-time job, I would 100% because it is so much fun and every day is an adventure. And I just, I love my characters so much. I love Baymax with all my heart. I just, oh, I love him, I'm getting emotional. Um, and it's funny because sometimes you think that you're not cut out for certain people, certain characters, but you are and then you end up loving them. And then characters who you wanted to work with, you not so much, you know? Like I was terrified to work with Baymax just because he's a very fragile robot and he he takes a lot of care and everything. And I was very scared of him. And now whenever I get the chance, I trade shifts for him because I love him. I'm even debating buying the $50 Baymax stuffed animal that's like this big, you can't even see how big it is. It's like so big. Um, I want him, I want it so bad love him i love joy and sadness they are so much fun to work with and i even love character spot with mickey minnie and goofy which a lot of people tend to not like that that spot just because it's very busy all day long but it's so much fun i love it too i just love future world and that's the thing <laughs> brings me to another point um every park is different every park has a different different atmosphere and every park Every land inside of a park has a different atmosphere. So let's start with Epcot. So Epcot has Future World and it has World Showcase. Future World and World Showcase, completely different spectrums, completely. And you'll learn about that kind of in training. Um, but World Showcase is very much what they teach you in training. Very cutting the line, closing it off, you know, moving people along, everything like that. Um, fun very fun hot very hot some days but very fun and um most of that is with the princesses but there's a few other characters like daisy and donald like to hang out in the world showcase sometimes um but a very di different atmosphere than future world future world is you do not close the line all day long they are there from the morning to night and you only close the line at night um when the park closes and it's indoors and it's just a di different atmosphere. And by a di different atmosphere, I mean people act, guests act different indoors than they do outside and captains are different and managers are different and it's just different all around. But it's, they're both great. Like they both have their ups, they both have their downs and it just is your preference. Um, same as in the other parks. I have worked at Animal Kingdom and Hollywood Studios and Hollywood Studios, very different than Epcot. Also very different than Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom is very chillax, some would say. Um, but also there's two separate, there's really two separate parts in Animal Kingdom. There's Dino Land and then there's everything else but Dino Land. 
and those are two different atmospheres because when I worked two shifts there I worked one in Dino Land and I worked one in Character Landing and completely different I worked with Pocahontas and I worked with the chipmunks could not have been more different could not have been more different I had a really great day I had a really bad day you know um, whatever <laughs> um, and then Hollywood Studios was also really different but I worked in Toy Story Land with Woody and Jesse and that is completely different than everywhere else in Hollywood Studios but Hollywood they all have their stereotypes all the parks have a stereotype and that's okay it's just like in college and high school everybody has a stereotype but it doesn't mean that that stereotype will be actually what they are you just have to experience it for yourself you know what I'm saying yeah like just because somebody else thinks something of some of a park does not mean that you will think that of a park so I suggest working at all the parks and make a list of all the shifts you want to work before you get there so that way you know which ones you want to do at least once and if you figure out that you don't think you'll end up wanting to do them after doing some of them, <clears throat> don't do them. But if you do still want to do them, do it. And if you are one of those persons, people like me that want to make a list and you want to do everything even though you don't know if you should, that way you can always come back to it if you want, you know? Perfect, right? I made a list, working on it, checking some off, not checking others off. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, being in a being a character attendant at Walt Disney World is the most rewarding job ever. Every day I thank God so much that I get to be doing what I'm doing. I'm having the best time ever and I could not be happier. I could not have been in a better role for my college for my college program. And I'm meeting so many cool people and I just oh, I love it so much so with that I want to list off some things that I think character attendants need to be you need to be responsible you are responsible for so much in this job you are responsible for timing you're responsible for safety you are responsible for moving things out of the way so that the character doesn't trip or the guests don't trip you are responsible for keeping everybody in line you are responsible for your character because that is your main priority yes yes um, and you are also responsible for just keeping up your guest service you know um, they tell you in training that Character attendants are the guest service, um, are the guest relations of entertainment. And that's true because we are in charge of making sure everybody has those magical moments with their care, their favorite characters. And it's great, you know, it's great. Um, but you are, need to be responsible. You definitely need to have a sense of timing and be on time. You always wear a watch. I'm finally wearing it, guys. I know I always pretend like I'm wearing it with my magic bands, but I'm actually wearing it. There it is right here. Six dollars at Walmart. Get you a cheap watch. You don't need an Apple Watch, guys. I'm just throwing that out right now. You don't need an Apple Watch. Six dollars at Walmart works just perfectly. It is 12:28, 22 seconds on a Monday, and it's March 25th. Tells me everything I need to know right here. Perfect. Responsible. On time. Happy. Be happy. I don't want to name names, but I know some attendants who are very miserable in their jobs and that makes me kind of sad because it is the best job in the world. I love it so much and to see people just complaining about being tired even though I'm exhausted, but when I'm exhausted I'm still like this because it's Disney World! Um, and so be happy. You're doing a job that so many people want to do. Be happy. Enjoy it. Don't complain about it. Ah! And like, I do have those days where I come home and I complain because some bad stuff happened, but they are, they complain while they're doing their job in front of people. And they just have like a, a face like this, like next family. Don't be like that. It is Disney world. Duh. Be like, my next family, you can put your bags right over here for me. Thank you. That is what I do literally all the time. Like it's, it's not that hard. Just be positive. Be positive.
positive, positive. Less of a mare than more of a Jackie. Positive. Oh, that's the wrong song. Keep it positive as you slap her to the floor. <laughs> no, don't slap people to the floor. That is not safe. Mm -mm -mm. Um, wow, there's going to be a lot of bloopers on this video. <sighs> Do you guys, should I show you all my pouch? My pouch is my best friend. Hold on. Pause. My pouch. My best friend. Right here. Um, so I always keep it on my belt even when I'm not working. Just so I don't forget anything. Um, I have my rainbow colored Sharpies. And I have some pins in here as well. I started off with like eight pins, but now I have three. That's great. I haven't lost a Sharpie yet, so that's good. Um, so in here, I have all my Sharpies. I have the notebook they give us in training. This is where you write down all the stuff you need to know for the day. I have three pages left. I've used all of this. <laughs> um, I have stickers. I have galore in here as well as your two best friends, maps, and times guides, your best friend. Time gui times guides are your best friends. Maps, they're nice, but people remember to get maps. People don't remember to get times guides. Always have your times guides. I need to get new ones. These expired yesterday, but I don't work today. So, ta-da! Um, okay. So next, in your pouch, always have stickers. You'll never know when you, you need them. I got my stickers, got some birthday stickers, some Mickey stickers. I've got lots of hidden stickers. They're like special ones. I only, and stickers, they will tell you all about sticker etiquette in training. But just so you know, you'll always have stickers because stickers are great. My pouch. Goes right here on my right hip, always there. <laughs> on my left hip, it's not in here, but it's my water bottle. Cause stay hydrate, hydrate or dehydrate. Right guys, that's right. Especially in Florida, I drink about five water bottles a day. The ones that are like this big. Um, yeah, I fill them up after every time, every time I go backstage, I fill it up, gulp it down. It makes a, the worst noise ever. He goes, when I sip on the straw, and I'm always like, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> um, by the way, Bruna got this for me for my birthday. We love Webby. Webigail, Abigail. But yeah, going on that, just have fun. You are doing such a cool job. Just have fun with it. It's literally, they tell you every single day, have fun because that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to do your job, but you can have fun while doing that job. That's right. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helps you guys learn a little bit more about character attending. I hope it's not confusing or doesn't annoy you guys. <laughs> I hope it helped you all learn some stuff about the job. Also helped clarify some things. I hope I had some good points in there. I just kind of, I didn't really have a set schedule for this video. I just wanted to talk and explain my feelings about the job to you guys. Um, and so, yeah, I hope you all have a magical day and I hope this helped you all guys, helped you guys out. Have a magical day and I will see you all real soon.